Hey guys and girls. This is a uh, video on how to wire in a Dakota Digital uh, signal interface to drop the RPMs from a V8 signal in half to convert them to run on a four cylinder tachometer on a 240SX. Here's our engine swap. It's a, it's a beast. It's a VH45 from a 95 Infinity Q45. And obviously it doesn't have the same uh, tachometer signal. It's gonna be uh, there's gonna be eight pulses like a V8 instead of four pulses. So let's uh, check it out inside. So inside we can see the this is idling. It should be 700 RPM, but it's about 1400. It's double. You can tell it's not. There's no way that's going to 5,000 RPMs. It's only going to 25, 2,000. So let's uh, change that signal. So that's idling at 1400. Let's remember that. We're gonna fix that. Okay, let's see here, we've got the wiring for the tachometer right here. And let me explain something. This, this wire I got from the, uh, it's, a, it, it's supposed to go from the engine, harness, to the computer or the gauge cluster. So we'll get that engine harness uh, tachometer signal or engine speed signal and we're going to plug it in to our Dakota Digital. Before I plug it in, I just want to explain, see uh, the solid green light means I'm getting power and ground. That's from here. This is the battery power and ground. Power, ground. It's pretty easy. Can't mess that up. It's labeled right here. And I'm plugging in uh, the input right here. Sensor ground is not going to be used. The input will be used. That's from the engine harness. But you can see it's not plugged in, so it's a solid green light. Okay, now it's plugged in. It's that wire that I showed you earlier, labeled tachometer. That's from the engine. And that engine wire goes to the input. The coil pack wire, or the igniter wire, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to use OUT2. OUT2. Uh, is going to go to the tack. And according to this diagram, we're going to be using the OUT2 for standard tack output signal. When you plug it, plug it into the OUT1, it doesn't work. Okay? And our switches are going to be... Let's see if I can focus. There we go. Sw switch number one is going to be up. That means it's going to be a ECU ECM tack signal. That's what we're going to have. Switch number two is going to be off. That's a standard tack signal. That's we're not going to use a standard tack. So we're just going to have switch one on, switch two off, switch three needs to be off and uh, switch four needs to be off. So switch one is on, two, three, and four is off. Two, uh, three and four, off, off, is for a four cylinder gauge. That's what we're gonna do. If you're using a six cylinder gauge, like in a 300ZX Z32, for example, 
I'm gonna have it off on. Number four would be on. All right, and now the flashing light means it's getting a signal and it's happy. And these buttons, I don't have to touch these. Uh, the default is cutting cutting it in half, and the signal is cut in half. Uh, so now the gauge should be working properly. Let's go check it out. And what do we got? We got perfectly good working gauge. So, there you have it. That's how you wire in a Dakota Digital for the tachometer. It's actually pretty easy. And these little buttons right here, up and down, those you just push them and they will increase and decrease the RPM gauge if your RPM gauge is uh, off. But I know it's on. It's right on the money. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps somebody.